Hi students, welcome back to today's class. Today we are going to see file handling. It is a new chapter. So under this file handling, we are going to see the introduction, data files, and then opening and closing files, reading and writing files, standard input, output, and error streams. So in today's uh, video, we are going to see that is in first video, we are going to see this first three topics, introduction, data files, opening and closing files. So let us move on to introduction part. What is meant by file? So most of the computer programs will be working with the files. Okay, most computer programs work with files. This is because files helps in storing information permanently. So in a, with the help of file, we can store the information in a permanent way. Okay, so word processors create document files. If you see word processors uh, software, and in that we can create the document files and database programs. So database software is used for creating files of information. In the same way, compilers and uh, compilers know it reads those files and it will generate the executable files. That is, compiler will read the high level language programming languages files and then it will generate the exe files, executable files. So, like that, every software you know, deals with, with files only. Uh, so, we see it is the files that are mostly worked with inside the programs only. So, files you know it is mostly worked with inside programs. So, a file in itself is a bunch of bytes stored on some storage device like hard disk drive or thumb drive etc okay so it is a bunch of bytes a file in itself is a bunch of bytes stored on some storage device like hard disk drive and thumb drive etc so every programming language it offers some provision to use and create files through programs okay so with the help of programs or through programs no we can able to use the files or we can create the files like that uh, every programming language it is offering some of the provisions python is no exceptions and in this chapter we will be learning to work with data files through python programs okay so with the help of python program how we can work with data files let us see so before that we need to know about what is meant by data files data files are the files that store data pertaining to a specific application so it is it will be relating to specific application we can able to store the data uh, for later use. So normally, uh, why we want to store the content in a file for uh, later reference only for later use. Okay, so the data files can be stored in two ways. One as text file, another one as binary files. So what is meant by text file? So text file it stores information in American Standard Code for information interchange. That is, in alphabets, uh, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, like that. Then punctuation keys, whatever uh, symbols we are using in the keyboard, no. In that way, the text files are going to be stored. A text file stores information in NASCII or Unicode characters. That is the, the one which is default for your programming uh, platform. So among this uh, unique Unicode or ASCII, which is uh, uh, default in your programming platform, that will be uh, chosen. So that in, in that manner, the file will be stored. File will store the information. So in text file, each line of text is terminated. Okay, that is ended delimited with a special character known as end of line that is eol character so in text file every line end is going to be indicated with the help of eol character okay end of line character in text files some internal translations takes place when this eol character is read or written so when we are reading uh, when uh, this eol character is read or written uh, into the text files some kind of translations will be taken place in python by default this eol character is the new line character or carriage written so we will call that new line character that is backslash n is a carriage written also or new line combination like uh, slash or slash backslash or backslash n like that we will use it in case of python so in python by default this eol character that is eol character how it can be denoted with the help of cap backslash n or carriage written character okay so next is binary files a binary file is just a file that contains information in the same format in which the information is held in memory so how the information is held in memory in the same format the binary file will store the information that is the file content is that is returned to you is raw with no translation or no specific encoding so without encoding without translations how it is stored in the system is the same manner it will be displayed to you okay it is like a raw data it will display the information or the information which is returned to you will be like a 
raw data so there will not be any translations uh, done on the binary file but in case of text file translation some kind of internal translations will be done and also eul character is used in the text file but in binary file we won't use the delimiter in binary file there is no delimiter for a line that is uh, it is not going to be indicated uh, any any end of the line is not indicated with the help of any special character so in binary file there is no delimiter for a line also no translations occur in binary files so like this you need to write some points no for whenever uh, the question is asked like compare text files and binary files you need to write the following points that is there is no delimiter for a line in binary file but there is a delimiter in the text file like eul character is used uh, here in a text file there are some internal translations taken place when this eul character is read or written but here no translations occur in binary files as a result binary files are faster and easier for a program to read and write than text files okay so the third point is binary files are faster and easier for a program because there is no translation so that it will be do do it starts in a fast way reading or writing will be done in a fast way because we are not bothering about inserting eul or delimiter at the end of every line okay so on translations also not done here so that uh, binary files are faster and it is easier for a program to read and write than our text files as long as the file does not need to be read by the people or need to be ported to a different type of system binary files are the best way to store program information so if you want to store program informations binary files are the best until if the file is not needed by the people for reading or it not uh, need not to be ported to a different type of system so in that case text files are best okay so for reading purpose if the file is going to be read by the people or if you want to transfer the file to a different type of system then in that case text file is most suitable but in that case binary file is not suitable so if we are not doing uh, this file you no know, file transfer or if the file is not going to be read by the people the binary files are the best way to store the program information so these are the uh, things about uh, the data files okay so how we can categorize the data files data files can be categorized into two types that is text file and another one is binary files next we are going to see how we can open and close the files if you want to work with the file compulsorily you need to open any file in order to read or in order to update some contents also okay after reading or writing or doing some modifications in the file you need to close the file compulsorily so for that what are all the modes we have and uh, functions we are going to use for opening and closing the files so let us see here okay so in order to work with the file from within a python program okay so within python program if you want to work with the file you need to open it in a specific mode okay mode in the sense whether we want to perform the which kind of manipulations we are going to perform on the file according to that the mode will be chosen read mode or write mode or append mode like that three modes are there so those modes we will use if we want to open it for a specific uh, for a specific purpose okay so you need to open it in a specific mode as per the file manipulation task you want to perform so in which kind of manipulation task you are going to perform on the file according to that you need to choose the file mode like read or write or append mode okay so if you want to perform only read operation you can open the file in read mode if you want to perform both read and write operation you need to perform w plus or uh, read or plus like that you can choose the the re, uh, mode of the file okay file mode you need to choose according to the file manipulation task what you are going to perform on the file so the most basic file manipulation task include so what are the basic or fundamental manipulations tasks that is file operations tasks so what and all will be involved in that okay first one is adding 